I had heard about the refinery in previous years and watched different people go through it. I thought it seemed like an incredibly fun and supportive experience. As a creative practitioner, I am someone who is endlessly curious and I came to the refinery to follow my curiosity of how I could be a better business person. I was seeking an opportunity to, to break away from business as usual and essentially refine things. I wanted to look at how things were going and what am I doing right, what am I doing wrong, but also where am I going. It was really helpful to have structure and think about a business plan because I didn't have one and where my income streams would come from and what I really like doing. The refinery has really helped me gain clarity about what a creative business can look like. As a creative working solo, it's very scary and pretty confronting because you feel like you're the only one that has an issue. You're not in a big company and have workmates that get it. So coming into an environment that everyone gets it. <laughs> the refinery team of pushed us and held us accountable every step of the way and really given me that clarity and confidence in what I'm actually doing and that I can actually have a sustainable business. I don't think that any of us could have imagined the impact that the refinery would have had over the last three years. This year's been extra special, we've been back at the Met, we've been in person, so the energy around the program is really building and we're really seeing these extended network of connections happening between the cohorts and the community as this region develops. Over the last three years, the refinery has had 43 people all finish the program. We've had over a thousand people attend our events and each year we've built upon and developed an awesome ecosystem. The diversity of mentors who the refinery engages is absolutely incredible and there's a really strong presence of women founders. It's like a ticket to people. Like it was like, hey, I'm part of the refinery and the mentors were really open and welcoming so they would not just come and mentor us, they're like, here's my email. A memorable moment was when Claire Baldich actually talked to us about taming our inner critic and people might be surprised that I still have one too, but it was good to develop some strategies to talk back to that critic. Being in the room with the refinery crew today really reminded me at the very beginning of my quote unquote professionalising what I did, I had, I needed honest spaces where I could ask questions that felt uncomfortable, you know. We've got a cohort of wonderful, very, very talented human beings and this is where they get to ask, okay, so how do I turn that into a business? How do I keep my integrity and values intact? And what can I give back? People want to buy things that reflect their values. So it's really important when we design our businesses to really have our own values front and centre. Thinking about what the story opportunities are that sit around your business rather than just talking to your product at hand. The lunch and learns were great because we were able to hear artist stories and how they've thrived in their professions and knowing that there's a thriving community of business creatives that we can lean on each other and talk to each other. Something that you may not know is that I actually do a little happy dance the night before I come up to the Sunshine Coast and I just start to get really excited because I know that it's this full two days where I can focus on growing my business rather than just working in my business. I think one of the really great benefits of the refinery program for the participants is its focus on building business and skills development. I think that that means that these creatives go on to build really sustainable businesses that have impact in the region. Numbers in finance, they're such a cornerstone of any business. Uh, I know it's not everyone's particular skill, especially with creatives. They're naturally apprehensive about the numbers, but they're great storytellers and we're all about trying to teach them that there is a story in the numbers and once they recognise it and get clarity around that story, it provides so much more clarity in all of the other things that they're naturally apprehensive about. I have always been an advocate of creativity and the importance of it in regional areas and I really believe that the refinery contributes massively to that creative culture. On the Sunshine Coast, we're one of the fastest growing regions in Australia. We have this incredible responsibility and opportunity to make this place a really creative place and artists and creative practitioners have a critical role to play in that. They are humble, they are often overlooked and they are some of the region's greatest assets. One of the things I love about working with the refinery crew and the creatives is the fact that they're passionate. Like they start from that place of 
wanting to do something and they have that real sense of purpose. Whereas for most entrepreneurs we work with, we have to get them to pull that out and actually show more of themselves. Whereas creatives, they, you can see it, they embody it. Because it's been embedded here as the city's going up, it's actually bringing the life, the relationships, the connections and breathing that kind of life into the concrete. When I discovered the refinery earlier this year, I kind of was like, oh, I wish that I had the refinery back when I was about to go full time because I know that they would have really taken my business ideas and helped me sidestep some of those early mistakes I would have made in just figuring out how much to charge, how much to value myself, how to package my products and how to market them and things like that. So the refinery is something that's very special and I've been promoting it to a lot of my friends who are singer-songwriters and looking at going full time. Sunshine Coast is vibrant. It's got a really up and coming arts and entertainment crew. There's a lot of people here putting back into the local economy by hiring locals um, and creating strong communities. So it's all about that in the end is connecting them up so we can all be sustained in this kind of circular economy. I think it's a super exciting time. I think now there's some amazingly talented creatives that are moving up here and there's a real buzz and real excitement. I think it's just that ability to talk to people about what you do. I wasn't able to articulate it before and now I feel like I could go on and on and on forever. When you know, you're know you kind of starting your business and you're being creative and people might try and put you down or say, oh, don't do that, it's too risky. Take the risk, don't take anything personal and have fun at doing it. To be honest, my biggest aha moment has just been remember I'm a creative and remember what I do and how it actually is super valuable to people. That is something I haven't remembered for a while and it's just really kind of popped into my head and, and I see the value of it. The refineries definitely help for me to communicate the value of arts, especially in regional areas and what artistic communities can bring to placemaking, tourism, the economy and well-being of people really. People who have new ideas they want to bring into the world often feel a little bit alone in their independence, but coming together you realise there's all these other amazing creative people who feel exactly the same way and just need to be shown some of the signposts to navigate their way through believing in themselves and having the tools to actually launch and that's been really joyful. There isn't really a no, it's everybody's like, okay, so how, do we gonna, how are we gonna make that happen? Yeah, that's awesome. My preconceived idea about business was that it was based around structure and rules. My big aha moment would be that business is fun, that this is for fun. A creative business can be anything you want it to be, and it doesn't have to be businessy, if that makes sense. Watching everybody ride the roller coaster of a creative life where one day you are riding a real high thinking everything I do is amazing and then the next day you wake up thinking everything is really not that amazing and learning that that's all part of the journey. My vision is so much bigger and so much more attainable and achievable. I feel like I've got a grasp on a successful business. I've gained lots of confidence and lifelong friends and just really valuable connections. When I first came into the refinery, I was seeking a sustainable business plan, but what I actually got was self-belief, a reignited confidence, and an insight to the human side of business.